Hey guys, it's me, Clan Kano, and today's video is going to be a DVD and Blu-ray update for June 13th, 2021, in which yesterday I went out to three different stores. I went out to Goodwill, Dollar Tree, and Walmart, in which all these were in the Lewis Center location in Ohio. So, yep. And for this update, I got a total... I got 18 DVDs and 5 Blu-rays for this update. And so yeah, so so yep. At first, we're gonna start the DVD, and we're gonna start the DVDs first. And which the first fourteen are from the Goodwill at Lewis Center, and they only had DVDs at Goodwill because they don't sell VHS tapes at the Lewis Center Goodwill anymore. But they still sell my they still sell VHS tapes at my local Goodwill store, which is the Delaware one where I live. But these are the Lewis Center ones. So let's get this started. I got 14 DVDs from Goodwill, and so yep, and this first DVD I got was brand new sealed when I bought, and this is a Kino Lorber Studio Classics DVD. This is a Touchstone Pictures movie, and I guess Kino Lorber has some of the rights to Touchstone and Hollywood Pictures movies, which is pretty interesting. This is what I've been looking for for a while. Now I finally got myself a copy of it. This is the receipt. <clears throat> I do know there's a spin-off movie spin-off movie spin-off movie for of this movie which is Evan Almighty Evan Almighty, which is from 2007, but I'm not going to get that one because I'm just going to stick with this one because that Evan Almighty just Evan Almighty just looks terrible in my opinion. So I'm just going to stick with Bruce Almighty for me. Columbia Pictures movie. I had the laser disc of this movie, but since this is a great movie, I just had to replace. I just had to get this on DVD, and this DVD was originally purchased at Half Price Books back in 2017, but got this at the Goodwill store at Lewis Center for two bucks. This next DVD was resealed when I bought it. This was, I guess this DVD was originally, um, used to be at a Drug Mart store. Because it had this thing on it.
Fox Search Like Pictures movie. This is on the widescreen side, by the way. Another movie, I'm, another movie I decided to get on DVD. I do hope to get the other two Cry Kids movies, Cry Kid 2 and 3, but I'm still not getting the four, the next Cry Kid because of obvious reasons. And it's a Columbia Pictures movie. This is a Geffen Pictures movie released by Warner Brothers. This is on the widescreen side. This is a Penta Pictures movie released by 20th Century Fox. This is on the widescreen side. This is a TriStar movie. And here's the last DVD I, DVD I got at Goodwill yesterday. This, someone named EJ used to own this, but it's mine now. This is based off the TV series. And this movie is from 20th Century Fox and it was co-made by Paramount Pictures and Comedy Central. And next two and the next two DVDs are the two DVDs I got at Walmart at Lewis Center. Both of these are Universal Vintage Art slipcover DVDs. And both of these movies I had on VHS, but I wanted to get it on DVD. This comes in 2017 slipcover case from the Vintage Art series. But DVD self is still, still the 2000 DVD release. And DVD 
and it's a reprint for 2016 because that's the newer Universal logo on it, but it still has the same message as the 2000 DVD release. And this is the other DVD I got at Walmart. This come and the silk cover is from 2018, but the Steve these still, but Steve these from 2012, the 50th anniversary edition. And lastly, these are the and lastly, here are the two DVDs I got at Dollar Tree at Lewis Center. This one's a Sony Pictures Classics release. This is a French movie with English subtitles. And here's the last DVD for this update. This is a Magnolia Entertainment DVD. Now let's go to the five Blu-rays, which, Blu which the first four I got at the Walmart in Lewis Center, and the first three Blu-rays are the John Wick movies, and both the, all three of these John Wick movies comes in 2021 slipcover cases of special, well, these slipcover cases from 2021. I heard these movies are awesome, so I wanted to get these, and, I, and my dad likes, and my mom and dad really like these movies as well, so why not get them? It still comes in the 2000, um, well, the case itself is a 2019 reprint from Lions Game, but I'm sure this, this Blu-ray still have the same master as the 2014 or 15 Blu-ray master from Summit. Because Lions Game bought Summit a few years ago. Here's the digital copy code, which already expired on February 3rd, 2016. And the Blu-ray and DVD are still the 2015 releases from Summit. Once again, the case is from 2019, but the Blu-ray itself is still from 2017, so this is the DVD. Here's the digital copy code, which this one already expired on June 13, 2018, so three years ago this one expired.
And here's the third one. Like I said, these come, all these come in 2021 slipcover cases, which are like special color, whatever you call them. This one's a 2019 release. And this one's made by Lionsgate instead of Summon Entertainment. And the digital copy for this code expired on September 10, 2020. I like how all three of these John Wick DVD have artwork on them, which is pretty cool. Because nowadays, these other studios are lazy to put artwork on their Blu-ray cases. Maybe because of money or something. And here's the last Blu-ray I got from Walmart. I do have the, the Terminator 1 and 2 on DVD. I have Ter Terminator Genesis on Blu-ray, so why not get this one? I don't feel like getting Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines or Terminator Salvations. That's just me. And like Terminator Gen Genesis, this one's made by Paramount. For some reason, the sticker is, uh, is up, it's in the wrong area, the wrong way for some unknown reason. And, and not only that, this is also co-made by 20th Century Fox, which is pretty interesting because there hasn't been a movie lately, there hasn't been a film lately that was made by two Hollywood studios lately. I don't know what's up with that. Here's the digital copy code, which, which expires on January 28, 2022. There it is. And as for other movies on Blu-ray, I'm, I'm still going to try to get... Um, Mission Possible Fallout and Gemini Man someday. Not sure about the other two, Crawl and Overlord. And this one got a mixed reception, but I'm still curious to give this movie a try, along with Terminator Genesis. And here's the one and only blu And lastly, here's the last blu for the subday. And this is the one blu that I found at... Dollar Tree at Lewis Center. This one's my first Draft House, Draft House Films Blu-ray I ever found. Don't we, you don't really see these in Dollar Tree? These Draft House Draft House Films Blu-rays. Sorry, I can't talk today. Digital copy code, but I believe this one already expired. Has a booklet. As you can see, has a reversible cover art, which is pretty cool. And that's it for my DVD and Blu-ray update for June 13, 2021. Hope you like this movie update and see you guys later.